Guess the animal. Guess the animal. I will describe the animal. You will guess the animal. But every description will go from difficult to easy. So the description is one sentence, but at the start, it's difficult. At the end, you should know what it is. So I will describe the animal slowly and steady. At any time, you can guess the animal. From the first word I say, you can guess the animal. But in the beginning, it will be tough. So good luck to you. The animals are all zoo animals. There is no cat, there is no dog. They are all zoo animals. But every animal is described in difficult English at the start. And then it becomes easier. Got it? Guess the animal difficult to easy. Cat is an animal. What did I just tell you? They are all zoo animals. Every animal you can find in a zoo. Because we went to the zoo. I give you zoo animals. You are ready? Then give me the top 10 sticker in the chat. Come on. I haven't seen the top 10 sticker in the chat enough. It's a beautiful sticker, okay? Give me the top 10 sticker in the chat. Yeah, look at that top 10 sticker. Beautifully made. Handmade with these beautiful hands. Ooh, yeah. All right. Cheers to learning English. Here is the last challenge of today. It is very simple. You type the answer down below. And if you are in the top 10, I will be saying your name. It is, of course, a panda. Black patches around the eyes. And a diet primarily consisting of bamboo. Well done to you. Chi, Malin, Cake, Peach, Sala, Meta, Trinity, David, Shake Shake, Sky Sky in the top 10. Well done to you. This is Guess the Zoo Animal. Guess the Zoo Animal. Here's the next one. What is the animal? Known for its elongated neck. This herbivore can reach foliage that other animals cannot, making it one of the tallest land mammals. <laughs> Sorry, I got a hiccup in that sentence. <laughs> Known for its elongated neck, this herbivore can reach foliage that other animals cannot, making it one of the tallest land animal land mammals. Guess who loves me? My mom. You don't, because you don't know me. Hey cops, trying to make fun of me? You are right, guys. It is, of course, the elongated neck is a giraffe. A GG. Well done to you. Raya, Malin, Rania, Amanda, Vanessa, Kateri, Bam Bam, Cake, Peach, Agnes in the top 10. Sunshine, Rayleigh, Sammy, Jay. Jay, you're getting beaten by Bam Bam. I hope you realize this. <laughs> you're getting beaten by Bam Bam. <laughs> oh, no. Elongated means stretched. Stretched, like very long. Elongated. Here's the next animal. What is the animal? A large feline predator. Often recognized by its majestic mane. This animal is often called the king of the jungle. What's the animal? Also, if you don't know, you can learn some beautiful English words here. Feline, which means 
Family of the Cat, Feline, uh, Majestic Mane, the thing the hairs around the head is called a mane, M-A-N-E, mane. King of the Jungle is of course a lion, it's Simba guys, Simba. Well done to Rania, Malin, Raya, Jay, Vanessa, Skaska, Sky, Sky, Sala, Ellen, and Vic in the top 10. Bam Bam, Nicole, Amanda. So close. <laughs> you misinterpret the feline. Feline means cat family. So feline can mean jaguar, panther, tiger, lion, or just your cat. All right. What is the animal? And this is one of your favorite animals. An avian species, incapable of flight, characterized by its black and white plumage and waddling gait. It thrives in icy environments. Waddling, guys. Waddling is this, I'll show you. Waddling is this. That's waddling. Not walking. They don't walk, they waddle. W-A-D-D-L-E. It's not with an I, there is an E. You are correct. It is a penguin. Penguin. You've never seen a real penguin? Saturday. We started and ended the live stream with the penguins on Wednesday. Shake Shake making it to number one. Amanda, Maylene, Trinity, David, Raya, Dida, Annie, Jay, Luna in the top 10. Nawal, Embar, Elben. Well done to you too. Well done to you too. Thank you so much. 420 viewers. Nice. All right. What is the zoo animal? That's why we're playing what's the zoo animal with the difficult description. This reptilian creature boasts a powerful elongated tail and tough scaly armor making it a master of both water and land habitats. Boasts a powerful elongated tail. Strong, shows off a strong elongated tail. Snakes don't really have a strong elongated tail. These ones do have a strong elongated tail. <laughs> Scaly armor, they don't have feathers, they have scales. Making it a master of both water and land habitats. A habitat is where animals live, the environment. Cr, cr, cr. Well done, Sky Sky, David, Vic, Bam, Jay, Rayleigh, Karen, Dida, Ellen, April in the top 10. Amanda, Denar, Shake Shake, and Ska Ska. This is, of course, a crocodile. You could have guessed alligator. Uh, the difference is the way they look. One has a very slim nose. The other one has a very pointy. A big face versus a small face. Also, the one gets bigger than the other. If you want to know the details, Google it, bruh. I'm not a zootologist. <laughs> Alrighty. The habitats also matter. Here we go. What is the zoo animal? Characterized by a vibrant, multicolored plumage and exceptional ability to mimic human speech, this bird is quite social. Even telling you it's a bird. Thank you for your gifts, guys. Appreciate your support. Can share jungle upon y'all. Social. Colorful. Trinity! 
Yes. Uh, uh, a peacock is colorful, but it doesn't mimic human speech. Mimic, guys. M-I-M-I-C. Mimic means to copy. Copy and paste. Mimic. Well done. Multicolored plumage. Plumage is the collection of feathers. Although, I do think that the... Didn't the penguin also have a plumage? Yeah. But a penguin has black and white plumage. Ravens mimic too. True. And they're smarter. Well done. It was, of course, a parrot. Carmen making it to number one. Chi, Peach, Malin, Nicole, Amanda, Sunshine, Shake Shake, Dinar, Bam, and Julia in the top ten. Jay, Agnes, Tina. Well done. So close, so close. Thank you. All right. For the next animal, I want you to give me the full name. Give me the full name of the animal. Not the short name, the full name. Because known for its horned snout, this large mammal has a thick armor-like skin and prefers mud baths to regulate its body temperature. Full name. That's the hint. Known for its horned snout. So it doesn't have a nose, it has a snout and the snout is horned. This large mammal has a thick armor-like skin and prefers mud baths to regulate its body temperature. What animal is it? The full name. Rhino is the short name. You are correct. The full name is of course a rhinoceros. Well done to you. A rhinoceros. Making it to number one is Dida. Nicely done. Tina, Trinity, It's Me, Mike, Shake Shake, April, Annie, Kratai, welcome back, and Raya in the top 10. Melin, Skaska, Meta. Also well done to you. Rhinoceros. Rhinoceros or Rhino. Short. All right, let's check how well your animal knowledge is with this next animal. Because what's the animal? A primate with remarkable intelligence. This animal uses tools, displays complex social behavior, and has a facial resemblance to humans. You can't, the word is invisible, I think. If you type the word correctly, it's invisible. <laughs> because you cannot, maybe people are mocking someone by calling them this. Don't mistype the word. Facial resemblance to humans. It's the closest animal to humans. What animal is it? Not the gorilla, you're close. You're very, very close. The she 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 C H she she she. Not the cheetah. We don't look like cheetahs, Luna. I wish. The ch ch ch. It is of course the chimpanzee. The chimpanzee. How do you type it down below? How do you type it down below? It gets filtered, but the answer still counts. If you type it, the answer still counts, but you can't see it in the comments. Chimpanzee. You saying bold is a cheetah? True. Well done to Shake Shake Rock Rock, Nicole, Vic, Mike, Chi, Trinity, Rayleigh, Skaska, Else, It's Me, Libu. In the top 10, Malin, Alban, Sammy, so close. Chimpanzee, guys, is C-H-I-M-P-A-N-Z-E-E. -E. Oh, 
You are getting close, guys. You are going fast. I like it, I like it, I like it. Good way to explain animals, right? Not too easy. Nice level of difficulty. Here's the next one. Sporting black and white stripes. This herbivorous animal belongs to the horse family, but is known for its unique striping pattern. What animal is it? You love me, uh, you don't even know me, I don't even know you. <laughs> Sporting, which kind of means like showing off. Showing off black and white stripes. Sporting. You can say to someone, you are sporting those shoes nicely, like showing off. This herbivorous animal belongs to the horse family, but is known for its unique striping pattern. This is, of course, a zebra. You got it. You got it. Well done, Amanda, Bam, Peach, Rania, Jay, Chi, Adeline, Dida, Shake Shake, Alan in the top 10. Semi, Spectator, Malin, and Kateri. So close, so close. Thank you for sharing the live stream. We appreciate you in our community, which is free, by the way. You should join us. Learnwithlucas.com. You can find Discord, Telegram, and WhatsApp with almost 5,000 members. All right. What's the animal? Here we go. This enormous gray mammal possesses large floppy ears and an elongated proboscis used for grasping food and water. I have never in my life used the word proboscis. Let's just say elongated trunk, okay? Let's just say elongated trunk. <laughs> proboscis that that's a great word anyway this enormous gray mammal possesses large floppy ears and an elongated trunk used for grasping water food and water until floppy ears it could have been me i have quite floppy ears <laughs> hmm. but of course the animal with a floppy ear is an Elephant. Proboscis. Exactly like that. Yes. Elephant. With PH. Well done, Sunshine. Bam, Blue, Amanda, J, Dida, Spectator, Shake, Shake, Chi, Avida. In the top 10. Trinity, David, Skaska, Peach. Very, very close. You're very, very close. All right. We got a few more for you. What is the animal? I'm not going to read your full name ever. The more you spam, the less letters of your name I will say. No need to mute him. Now I got to... All right. An apex predator of the ocean known for its razor sharp teeth and menacing dorsal fin that often instills fear. An apex predator of the ocean, known for its razor sharp teeth and menacing dorsal fin that often instills fear. Menacing, beautiful English word. Someone guessed it before I said the word. I'm, I'm gonna bet it's Raya because he's been guessing words. It is Raya. Well done, Raya. <laughs> Menacing means something like it's scaring you. When you see that dorsal fin coming out of the water, fear is all you can feel. Menacing. Like people can have a menacing look. Like when you look at a people, you just feel fear. It's scary. What animal is it? It is, of course, a shark with... 1k, no double k's here, 
Well done, Raya, Maylin, Rania, Adeline, J, Skaska, Peach, Dita, Blue, Elben in the top 10, Ray, Trinity, David. So close to the top 10. Yes, not as fast as the top one who guessed it before I said the sentence. The next one, I'm gonna be honest, I don't know if it's a zoo animal, but sure. This small carnivore is known for its distinctive masked face and dexterous front paws, often found scavenging for food in like trash. The nickname for this animal is a trash panda. Do you know what animal I'm talking about? Trash panda. So many books? Yes, and they're all real. Uh, what's the animal? Do you know? I will explain one more time. It is a carnivore. It's known for its distinctive masked face and dexterous front paws. Often found scavenging for food. The nickname of this animal is a trash panda. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? You forgot? Well, I can tell you that it is called a raccoon. A raccoon, guys, is a trash panda. Raccoon, R-A-C-C-O-O-N. Type it down below, you still get the point. Just type raccoon. Jay, of course you knew what a trash panda was. Well done, Wayina, Skaska, David, Shake Shake, Peach, Oshiru, Trinity, Dida, and Chin in the top 10. Blue, Embar, Semi, well done to you too. Well done, well done, well done. The next animal, one of my favorite animals. What is the animal? I'm looking for a slow moving mammal with hooked claws, often found hanging upside down in trees. Famous for its leisurely pace. Leisurely, leisure, leisurely. Famous for its leisurely pace. It moves like this. It is not a bear. It hangs upside down in trees and has hooked claws. A turtle doesn't hang upside down in trees, guys. It has long arms. Always hanging like this. What animal is it? This beautiful animal, one of my favorites, is called a sloth. S-L-O-T-H. Sloth. Look it up. Zootopia, guys. Sloth. Ha! 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 That one? It's a chill animal. Um, Malin, well done. Ray, Kratai, Queen, Oshiru, Dinar, Dida, Bam, Pan, Skaska. And Amanda in the top 10. David, Raya, Adeline, Vida, So close to the top 10. Did you take the vocabulary out? It, uh, there's a two minute timer. That's the max time I can give you. All right, we'll do three more. Three last animals. That's it. With striking orange fur and black stripes, this large feline is often regarded as the stealthiest predator in the jungle. What animal is it? Say hi in English. Hi. What animal is it? 
a stealthy predator. Also a big boy, by the way. This animal can be very big. Nobody will separate our hearts? No, because they are never going to be together ever, ever, ever. Well done! The animal is, of course, a tiger. You totally got it. Raya number one, Skaska, Anastasia, Sammy, Bam, Ray, Ray, Ray Lee, Jacelia, Mercy, and it's me in the top 10. Well done to you, Mr. Babels. Welcome back, Jay and Mercy. So close. E Mercy. EU Mercy? I don't know. <laughs> the last two animals. And this animal. I shouldn't tell you now, otherwise you can start guessing. Um, I'm looking for an animal with two words. Two words. This is a member of the bear family with white fur. This arctic dweller is a skilled swimmer and is highly adapted to the cold environments. What animal is it with two words? I am in the Netherlands right now. What chance is I? Gelan, pam jou man. Gelan. What animal is it? A member of the bear family with white fur. This Arctic dweller is a skilled swimmer. My English, no. Come on, you can do it. I believe in you. You got this. What animal is it, guys? What animal is it? It could be a lot of animals, honestly. It could be a lot of animals. But what animal is it? Little too low, maybe. We're still playing with the angles. Gotta give you the perfect angle, right? I like the color like this on the background. The color is good. It's a bird. Well done. It was a polar bear, of course. Ails making it to number one. Blue, David, Chi, Sammy, Bam, Nuna, Ray, Adeline, Shake Shake. It's me in top ten. Amanda, Trinity, Rayleigh, and Vic. So close to the top ten. White fur. Now you know. A bear has fur. All right. The last animal of today in the last challenge of today after this we have done three challenges in two hours i think it's pretty good listen i am looking for a what is this word bro a marsupial a marsupial from down under with powerful hind legs. This animal is known for its hopping movement and carrying its young in a pouch. Marsupial. I'm learning new words. Definition. Marsupial, a mammal of an order whose members are born incompletely, developed and are typically carried and suckled in a pouch on the mother's belly. Marsupial. Cool. Cool, cool. Marsupials. Wallabies, wombats, koala, Tasmanian devil, and kangaroos are marsupials. Well done, kangaroo. What's the answer? Skaska number one. Raya, Dida, Malin, Nawal, Vic, Bam, Peach, Elben, Ray in the top 10, MF, Kim, Rania, Donar, Rukradai, Shake Shake, Amanda, J, Cute, and Jocelyn in the top 20. Well done. Well done. You just finished three challenges to improve your English. Well done to you.
If you missed any of the challenges, you can watch them back tomorrow morning on YouTube with Lucas, where I upload all the live streams, W-I-T-H, Lucas, on YouTube. That is where I upload all the live streams, if you miss them. Why is Sloth your favorite animal? It's so chill. You know, people are always running about, but sloths are just slow and chill. And they lo don't look so slimy as a snail, you know? So it's very, they just hang around. It's the definition of hanging around. So sloths are pretty cool.